Hey guys, this is Veron from Speaker of the Stars, and welcome back to my channel. So this video today is actually quite special. This is gonna be the 100th video I uploaded on my channel, at least for the art version of it. So, let's do a quick, not so quick, um, run through of my video, of my, um, not my videos, but like, my channel thus far and how I started. So back in something like 2009, I think, probably even earlier, I made a YouTube account and that was probably in high school. Uh, I uploaded two videos and it was just me with music in the background, copyrighted in fact. Uh, just me holding my digital camera and hold, making a video while I'm drawing my character's hair. And the video was just that. It was me supposedly teaching how people could draw my character's hair. Which I then realized after two videos, no one really cares about. So I stopped that, I stopped that completely. There was no interest and I wasn't particularly interested in it as well. So I just stopped. I went back to just commenting and watching videos and liking videos and all of that stuff. A couple of a year or two later, I got into Vocaloid. So... If you're not familiar, those are vocal synthesizers. You can just Google that. Uh, Hatsune Miku is a good, famous example. And around 20... Probably 2012-2013, I made my own. And I used a program called Utau. Well, sort of. Utau is like the free version of Vocaloid. And you can make your own Vocaloid by recording your voice. And the program sort of like makes it sing for you in a sense. So I made like five to seven videos featuring my own utal and I would make my own art and edit the video myself. But I got pretty busy with college and I didn't really have a lot of time to like make and animate the videos, quote unquote animate. Not really. Um I didn't really have a lot of time to make the videos, so I stopped. Then in 2016 I was finishing up college because uh, I took two degrees, so I extended two years. Uh, in my second degree, I was an information design information design student, and I had learned how to use Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, Premiere, and After Effects. Now I'm quite versed in the first three, but the latter two, Premiere and After Effects, I didn't really get a lot of time to practice and play with it. So I wanted to brush up my skills on that, and I actually do a lot of live streams. Before it was on Livestream.com until they changed it to the new Livestream and I switched to Picarto after that. But I've always kept the recordings of all of my Livestreams just for keepsake and just keeping it there. And I thought after watching a lot of like art YouTubers and just YouTubers in general, I thought why not post these videos out there because it's a waste just to keep them hidden here. Even if no one cares, it's good practice for learning how to use Premiere quickly and efficiently. So that's what I started doing uh, around March, I guess, or April, because it was sort of close to my graduation. I posted a video showing how I design a character that I did, or a set of characters that I did for a comic world book type of thing. So it was our final project. And I just started posting videos weekly after that. And I even remember launching that video at something like 2 a.m. because I was shy and embarrassed that I was doing this. I wasn't sure if I'd get judged for it and I only shared it with people or with friends that knew I liked doing art and I don't know, I shared it with a select few and then later on I just sort of got confident with it when I saw a couple of my friends also start YouTube channels for like other genres so I just started sharing it. Um, so today's the 100th video starting from 2016 and it's been Two years, basically. It's currently uh, April. What date is this? It's April. It's almost the end of April 2018 now, so it's a uh, full two years and I've reached 100 videos. I've been posting pretty much every Saturday, except for when it's Inktober because I have to cut up the videos a lot or whatever. So the growth hasn't been like zooming like I thought. Like, I thought I'd get 100 quickly, but apparently that's not a thing or I'm not like super skilled or famous enough to hit a hundred in like my first year, but to me it doesn't really matter because I just do this for fun. I do this to improve my skill, and to be honest, I found that having a schedule has forced me to 
draw more um in the sense that before i started this youtube channel i would just sometimes not draw for three four or five months just because i was lazy or unmotivated or just playing games or something else but now i actually do make time for the hobby that i've stuck with for the past 23 years of my life and that's drawing so today what we're doing is it's a dual challenge of sort and it's not super challenging i wanted to to do like oil painting or acrylic but I didn't really have time because I've been kind of busy so I did I felt like I would have not been able to finish it and I didn't really feel like playing with oil so that's for some other time. Um the first challenge technical skill wise is I used a calligraphy nib and a calligraphy pen to do the lines. Usually I would use like a fine liner like the Sakura Pigma Microns or some other band of fine liner but today because I got those calligraphy pens for Christmas and I've only written with, written with them I've never drawn with them so this is the first time I actually drew with them so it was a bit of a challenge trying to actually control my hand even though I know a lot of manga artists use it but it's been challenging but I didn't really want to completely screw myself over so I still used watercolor on watercolor paper. The second challenge was actually thematically. <laughs> so I went into the deep dark depths of my DeviantArt account and looked at the very first drawing I did there. And this is it. This is a recreation of that. And I made that first drawing in 2009. And I was still very much on Gaia Online. I was in high school and that was the era of like My Chemical Romance. Uh, Red Jumps Apparatus, Paramore, Fallout Boy, so I was very much into that emo aesthetic thing, like that rock-ish aesthetic. Um, I wasn't really emo emo myself, like I just adapted their fashion and like their themes, but I wasn't really like sad or emotional or anything. Like, I wasn't really going through anything, to be honest. Maybe except bullying, but really, um, that's common here in the Philippines and it's something that well, it had, did upset me and somewhat did impact my self-confidence, but I wouldn't say it ruined my life or anything like that. Um, but yeah, and I looked back at it and it was like super cringy to be honest. Um, it was of this guy, it's exactly this, it's this guy who has wings and supposedly the, blink, the wings are bloodied and he's falling through the sky and he's asking for help and then in that drawing, I took a photo of it, and yes, photo, I took a photo of it using a digital camera, pulled it up in GIMP, and then got some text and put it on top of it. And it was supposed to be like emotional and dark and all of that. Whatever. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm recreating it for this video. And I challenged myself to more or less use the same colors as I did back then. So, in that drawing, the character had blue hair, a purple shirt, gay pants, uh, tannish, brownish wings with red blood on it in a dark background. So, my goal was, with this was to do that, copy that, except, it, except make it look more um, pleasing to the eye. <laughs> so, no clashing colors. I am properly using colors to define foreground and attention and background and all of that and no cringy old English text style font anywhere <laughs> but yes I enjoyed it I feel like it's a little bit lackluster for a 100th video maybe I do something a bit more challenging for another kind of milestone but who knows when that happens either way I will still be posting my videos every Saturday and I'll still be streaming more or less on Sunday. I haven't streamed for two weeks, three weeks, I think, because I've been a little bit lazy and I haven't really drawn much on set. Whatever. It's a thing. <laughs> um, but I'll try to get back into that soon. But yeah. Um, I had fun. Using the calligraphy nib was pretty challenging, to be honest. I didn't expect that I'd be able to do something with it. And I was a little bit sad that the pen or the ink bled a little bit on the watercolor paper. The technique that I found out was that I needed to like draw fast so it wouldn't bleed as much. 
So, we jump into the preview. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, like or subscribe to me if you enjoy anime and art and all of that. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and DeviantArt. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for subscribing or watching. Yeah.